master suite in the front of the house and then a guest suite in the back of the house. And the basement will just be storage at this point in time as there is plenty of space for the two of us. The basement unfortunately has a low ceiling, so it's difficult to finish. Mm -hmm. It's not a Michigan basement, so it, that's kind of nice. Um, it could be finished as it was when we bought it. I think we we'll finish it. Yep. Just yes. that we don't have any intention of doing that. Right. Yep. So, what questions can we answer? What curiosity can we satisfy or have we hit all the points? How many hours a week do you spend on this? Um, we typically, I'm a realtor, so sometimes I work in the evenings, but I try to schedule things in the daytime. We typically meet over there about 5 o'clock every evening. You can usually find one of us going through the McDonald's drive through getting <laughs> sweet teas. They seem to be our kryptonite. Um, and we grab our sweet teas, we meet there about 5 o'clock, and we're there till 8.30ish. Sometimes a little later as the daylight Since stays. the days are Yeah, because we don't have electricity. Well, we do have electricity, but just a couple and of hours. outlet. Yeah. 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 Um, and then weekends were there most of the Sunday, most of the Sunday. So, whatever that comes out to be, about 20 hours a week? Yeah. Maybe, give or take. Yeah. We don't watch a lot of TV. <laughs> 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 and we do not watch HGTV. Yeah. <laughs> we, just, we try not to. Yeah. <laughs> we watch that in between projects. We do, we yeah. do. During, we're like, no. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Well, how does it launch Facebook? Bump out? Bump out? And what do you think it is? I wonder if it might be. Coal shoot. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't we think the coal shoot was in the, did we find another spot? Yeah, the coal shoot is on the west side of the house. Um, that is visible, it came off of Maple Street. Um, and that probably wasn't a coal shoot because that would have been underneath the porch. There's a porch right there. So, I mean, that's a good guess. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody else has any ideas or doesn't dig in and find out, please let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any sign of gas lights? No, there was no sign of gas lights. We have seen that in other projects that we've done where there's both knob and tube, electric and gas. Um, and I kind of thought that we would run into that. And this one we did. Now we did run into the knob and tube electric. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's where the wires are individual and they run through, they put a ceramic tube going through the floor joists. And then there's a, another ceramic knob where if they, they'll wrap it around it and then turn a corner. So it's kind of this, and it looks like power lines, you know, that it you can see on the street going through the house. And what we did find on this is they added electric at some point in time, and they ran it in the ceiling. But the way they did it is they pulled up the floorboards on the second floor um, about this wide, and they ran everything through the floor, and then they were able to snake it down and around. So um, we found several different types of electric. There's the knob and tube, and then there's the old black wrapped cloth stuff, yep. Then there's the silver stuff. It's kind of like Romex, but it's got a silver, you touch it and your fingers turn silver. And then the newer style Romex electric, so. Um, it's definitely it's seen run into any asbestos? There was no asbestos, no. I don't know if that had been removed at some time because there was a fairly new um, furnace in the basement with, um, it was 90, efficiency so it had the PVC tubes going out um, and had you know modern forced air duct work and then there was another furnace on the second floor that was the same uh, at some point in time <clears throat> there was probably the big coal furnace um, I would assume that there was you know radiant you know heat that went with that at some point but we're not seeing any signs of that there's no holes in the floors where there would have been radiators um, <clears throat> there was probably the big octopus style furnace in there because there's a lot of holes cut. <clears throat> Excuse me, the main load bearing wall in the basement is brick there and they had cut some big sections out to run pipes and ductwork. That was probably for um, the furnace at some point in time. We we found that with the beauty of getting a really old home is that you usually avoid that because they weren't using asbestos in the 1800s. So that's kind of a uh, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s thing. Um, so when you buy those homes, that's when you typically run into it. But if you buy something older than that, you usually yeah. kind of skirt by. Now the Kaiser Mansion, the carriage house, um, had a boiler and it had asbestos wrapped on the pipes there. So we did run into that there, but um, not this house, thankfully. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other questions? Yeah, the porch looks like S's. Yes. 
I think that's because it came from the sweat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I always figured. Yes. The side porch does it. It's a different right. one. Okay. Yeah. And I didn't see the S's forever. I don't know what's wrong with my eyes. But <laughs> they just look like squiggly marks to me. But, yeah. but can everybody you, can you go back to the side porch? Maybe the same time they got the columns, they got yeah. the S's. That would be my guess. And I don't know what swim looked like. Prior. When I took that off prior to what it looks like now. Right now it's very grand, you know, mm -hmm. very tall, big columns. Um, <clears throat> so in order for it to have these, it you probably have it more something. Yeah, maybe that one. Yeah, that's it. Right. <clears throat> that's right. it. So the S's oh, that they she are was S's. talking about. Uh -huh. And then these columns supposedly came from there. Um, mm -hmm. What's Dick. Mr. Swan's name? Dick. Dick. Okay, yeah, he stopped by and he's the one that told me that. Yes. He said yeah. the Whereas these back here, these are the original style. They were square. Mm -hmm. You can see that in the old picture with the fire that the front porch had that style as well. And they're more ornate in the back. Yeah, they are. I really live are. near there, so I walk by every day. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> these are very ornate. There's a lot going yes. on in the corners. Um, in the fire picture, can you go to the one on the other side? Which, the fire picture? Yeah. Now? One by the garage. I know. Is that in that I don't think so. Is she your house? Yeah. Mine okay. Is Which one? That old picture. This one. Oh. This one. Okay. So this one here is is the west side of the house. Maple. And this one had, um, you know, columns that were similar to the other side. But on the wall right here, where there's that bricked up door. You can still see, if you go by there and you look at the brick, you can see the outline of this style of wood that was pushed up against it. They either painted it and it went onto the brick or they used caulking of some sort. And so you can still kind of see that um, on there. Um, maybe look at the other one in the front. Yeah. So there's, there's more of the original style that matched the ones that are on the back. <clears throat> and of course, these went up quite a bit farther because the second floor was still there. Um, but it looks like there's still the dental molding underneath that mm -hmm. and around on the front. So I think the dental molding that was there is original mm -hmm. in the house and they managed to save it, even with the new roof that they put on. Whoever came up with the roof, it's a hip style roof, they really did a good job um, when they built it. The way they kind of tied it in and <clears throat> they put some supports on the inside to make sure that they could push the brick walls out again, like mm -hmm. what happened. And while I love the two style Italian house, like I, I think we really like that ours is a little bit unique and different. And there aren't any others like it, so it sort of drew us to it. Any other questions? The landscaping, we've had lots of people asking about. Mm -hmm. um, we have people, we are getting help on that because it needs some massive overhaul. Um, but I will say that while we've had, I've had lots of friends come and take perennials so that they'll have them and I can get them back next year and they can work on them. If there is something that you just have to have there, please don't walk on the concrete, but please go help yourself to it. Because <laughs> there is, I've never seen so many plants in one place. Yeah, somebody spent a lot of time. Yes, it was the last owner. Yeah. It was him. The last really? owner. Yeah, he, he did a ton and then he let it go. Oh. But there were a couple years where he was out there. Constantly. Won an award and became one of yeah, yeah. wow. the beautiful award. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. I believe it yeah. in all the plants. Well, if somebody wants a star or something, please go take it because they are beautiful. Yeah. And we have taken, I think we have removed like three or four truck bed bowls at this point in time. Now we are keeping the trees. Yes. The front. Don't take that magnolia tree. <laughs> the crab apple of some the sort, apple, apple tree. The red bud. The red bud stain. Mm -hmm. The two pine trees that are there are coming down. Uh, Dick Swim is really pushing us to take those down. <laughs> They're not super he's, healthy. Yes, he's got a very nice yard and those pine trees. Are and he has a nice roof, and he doesn't yes. want it to fall on his roof when it does too. fall. So, um, but yeah. So, did any of you work on the house? I know a lot of people worked on the house when it was in foreclosure oh, to yeah. kind of, you know, it was kind of an yeah. eyesore. And so we've had a lot of people stop by and say, "Oh, I pulled all the ivy off mm -hmm. this side, or I mowed it, or I." We're very grateful this. for that. Yes. Yeah, there was a little neighborhood push for there for mm -hmm. yeah. a couple of neighborhood cleanup days. So. Yeah, we really appreciate that because yes. I hate pulling off ivy. <laughs> yeah. We're still going to be pulling off ivy. Yeah, we are. It's still <laughs> mm -hmm. Hard to kill. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. But no, we're uh, we're really really excited. We're hoping, I think about six months. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to be in it. You know, cert oh. yeah, certainly by the end of the year. Yeah. So. 
I've been told that Halloween is not to be missed on that strip. So oh, yeah, that's true. We've actually mm -hmm. never lived in a house where we've had more than, what, 15 trick-or-treaters. Yeah. Oh, oh, like oh, yeah. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. That's what people have said. Yeah. 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 So I'm really looking forward to it. So even if it's not done, I will be sitting yeah. on that porch. <laughs> <laughs> and you might be in the ghost tour. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sadly, we haven't seen any ghosts, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We'll make them up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we hear the Memorial Day parade is pretty good yes. too. Yes. 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 So that's coming up. Yeah. Looking forward to that. But no, we're really excited to be. We've never, I've never been in like the super small town setting, so I'm, I'm really yeah. excited for it. Yep. So. Any other questions that we can answer for you? Anything at all? <laughs> this is your chance. Yep. A lot of people ask questions about the Kaiser Mansion. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. There's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Fire away. Yes. The, the main bedroom does it. So then this is the front parlor in this corner, which is what we leave Leah was putting piano right there. Leah's, Leah is going to put a piano there. She's very good at the piano, so. Trent hopes to get garage doors. Yeah. <laughs> How many square feet is the house? Without the basement? We don't really know. Okay. The main floor is about 17. Oh, okay. The second floor technically has that much floor space. Yeah, but you okay. lose a lot of it because of the yeah. roof. Mm -hmm. um, so it won't be quite as much. But the basement is just as big as the main floor mm -hmm. since it's basement. not um, a Michigan basement. Mm -hmm. so, yep. mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, welcome to Japan. Yes. Yeah, well, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank yep. you for Coming fixing out. up our yeah. Yeah. So yeah. where do you smoke cigars in this? Yeah. Yeah. The porch. Anywhere. The porch. <laughs> the porch. Uh, yeah. yeah, the garage. So, I'm not a huge cigar smoker. I don't want to make it sound like, you know, that's a big priority in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you live in Canada, but, so you can smoke cigars. Yeah, so, but I do enjoy them, you know, usually while I'm playing poker with, with the guys. So, um, the yeah. porch. The porch. So. <laughs> yep. Anywhere, but I haven't smoked one here yet, so maybe mm -hmm. I'll have to do that. It'll have to be christened at some mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Good deal. Well, thank you. We want to honor your time, of course. You guys have been very kind to come and listen to us. And please stop by at any point in time. We don't always, sometimes the house is downright dangerous, which would be right now. But we love it when people stop by and chat when we're outside and out and about. So Everyone's been do. very friendly. So, yeah. so when you're done, are you going to have a big open house? That is a good question. <laughs> um, we probably will. We probably will. Yeah. So when I'm not walking, it's okay if I peek in the windows? It is. No. I thought about it, Just but I thought, don't Yay. step on that concrete. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you may peek in the windows. Yes. It may mean that someday you'll be helping wash them. But you're <laughs> okay. yeah. If you come in, we may put you to work. Yeah, I've been known to do that, too. <laughs> we tell people, five minutes, that's the limit. After five minutes, you work. Yeah. yeah. So, but no, please feel free. To stop by. We, we really enjoyed getting to know everybody. <laughs> so. mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice presentation. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for letting me stay here. Oh, good.